From keeping your child's well-being safe to watching over the health of their teeth, everyone needs to be cautious of what they put in their mouth, such as sodas that can cause decay from the acids. We're continuing to talk about National Children's Dental Health Month, and with me is Tiffany McAdams from Abilene Dental. How are you today? Great. How about yourself? You, you gave me some uh, links to read some information, and I thought they were so helpful. Let's talk about them. Okay. Really. Uh, Dental Health Awareness Month. It's still going on. Yes, Let's absolutely. talk about for children, sodas, such a popular thing, can also be uh, a decaying thing. Yeah, absolutely. The thing with sodas and sports drinks like Gatorade and Powerade is that they actually bathe the tooth in acid. Yeah. Sodas have an acidic value that's higher than battery acid. Which is the shocking <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, it's so shocking. But so what happens is, is your children's teeth start to, the enamel starts to erode. And then... The erosion of the teeth, mm -hmm. yeah. And then after the enamel has eroded, then the, the decay can just come on really fast and really strong. And you don't know what's, you know, you're like, what's going on? I, my teeth were fine six months ago. But in fact, they have been not fine for six months. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the decay is present. And the enamel of the teeth is it's therefore, gone. yeah. It's and you can't grow it back. I want to point out, because we created uh, just a, like back to what you said, the pH levels of these drinks, which sometimes is really strong, and you just mentioned about the Coke. But it's something that people really need to be cautious of because it goes back to destroying and eroding of the teeth. And some people don't even realize that <laughs> sooner or later you have to go to the dentist and really get more procedure than is necessary. Right, and, and more and more younger children because that's we, we drink soda all the time, you know, right. every day. Fifty years ago, that wasn't the case. Right. It was a treat. So now, <laughs> you know, now it's It's like, water these days. <laughs> I know we uh, also put this up, water, which is the neutral pH level. And if we compare it, battery acid, which is one, uh -huh. and then we have the Diet Coke, which is in the level three, and then you slowly get closer down yeah. to the Coke, which is something and really Diet popular. Coke. Yeah, Diet Coke, people think, oh, I'm safe with the Diet Coke because it doesn't oh, have no. sugar. No, but no, no, it's no. so acidic. It's so bad. Yeah, absolutely. Which is really close. Again, cautionary battery acid is not something to drink. This was just <laughs> something of comparison. Uh, let's also talk about the xylitol. Xylitol is fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's really been kind of a breakthrough product the last few years. It's in probably some of the stuff that you use right now and you don't even know it. But there's xylitol candy, there's xylitol mints, yeah. um, toothpaste, mouth rinse, and nasal spray. And I know that that sounds funny. Right. But <laughs> all the products containing xylitol help to remove the acidity value of, of all of that soft drink and chewing and all of that because um, it starts to get rid of the bacteria that causes decay. So, okay. Yeah. So if you use xylitol at least five times a day, that's what you want to strive for. Strive for five. Yeah. Um, and you just want to make sure that you're looking at your toothpaste and your mouth rinse and that that's something that you're giving your children. Okay. Even the babies, there's mouth wipes that have xylitol that you can wipe their gum tissue with. Just as easy as yeah. that. Uh -huh. And it's so, I mean, it can start in an infancy. Well, n now that we're talking about, you know, what you can do, let's go through preventing cavities and whatnot. I know some of the information that you told about is just really stop, re reduce the amount of sodas that you oh, do yeah. drink. Choose water or milk. I don't know about the milk part all the time. But uh, reduce the size, drink, and also use the straw, mm -hmm. which is also very helpful. And lastly, I also mentioned wait an hour after drinking acidic drinks to brush your teeth. Yeah, well, you don't want to brush your teeth right after because you can actually wear away the enamel with your toothbrush. Right. But you do want to drink water after, and that helps to neutralize all of the acid in your mouth. So if you drink a soda, drink some water after. Yeah. Try to drink it only with meals, and that kind of helps to minimize that too. I know nobody's going to completely stop drinking soda. No, no one's going to completely <laughs> stop drinking soda. It's almost like an energy shot for a lot of people. Tiffany, thank you so much for being here. Very informative. I love thank all the you. information. Again, you can also make an appointment at Abilene Dental today. Just call the number on your screen or head to their offices of Buffalo Gap Road. Also, check them out on Facebook and Twitter as well.